Yes, brothers and sisters, inalienable rights exist for no one in a communist socialist order. No one. Not to the least to the greatest. In a Byzantine communist socialist order, inalienable rights are extinct for all. Yes, white privilege. Everybody in the world has every right uh, to have every privilege that every white man has. All they have to do is follow the word of God. Uh, the white man did not make the slave. If you notice the minorities, the brown, the black, and the red. Not the Asian. Not the Asian. No, Paul's children are okay. So you got brown, you got brown, you got black, you got red, and they're all four. Well, maybe not even red. You got brown, and you got black. Oh no, no, no. Well, you got brown and black, and they're all the ones that are the major proponents of communist socialization and the caste system. The brown and the black people. That's all they want to do is archive everybody around, everybody up, list everybody stuff down on what's on paper, take away all your rights, put it into a central control. And they'll dictate to you how you can live. And they'll live off of whatever they wish to and take out of your pockets whenever they need to. And they'll give it all away for free, for free, for free, because it doesn't come for them, but it's for free for them. Yeah, and, uh, and the kings up on Tibetan Mountain, uh, they live for hundreds of years. How many synthetic fruits do they eat? How many synthetic vegetables do they eat? How many radiation, uh, radi radiofied uh, meats do they eat? How often do they sit in front of a, a, of a radioactive uh, computer screen? That's right. Because and why? Because and why? Because this is what you do. This is why this is what you get. Do they care about our children? Do they care about themselves? Do they care about their own children? Or just about their own lusts and their own desires? All for me, nothing for thee. Just like Noam Chomsky said, the brown and the black people. Just like Noam Chomsky said, all for me and nothing for thee. Just like the brown and the black people. I don't know where the slaves came from. Do you? Do you? I mean, it was deepest, darkest Africa over there, and all those areas over there were brown and black. I don't know what to tell the slave. They were born in brown and black lands. I don't know what... They were born in brown and black lands. I don't know what caused... The brown and the black man were... And they're so muscular, too. They're so muscular. We want to we wanna breed these people. They're, they're muscular. They're good workers. They're so muscular. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where the concept came from. But you have to check with the brown and the black people. As a matter of fact, just open your eyes. Take a look around. Oh, well, we're going to have more positions for black people. We're going to have more government authority than black people. And we're going to be opening up the floodgates now for like we did for the last 70 years. For black people.
and we're going to make the advantages for black people. And we're going to do this at all for black people. And affirmative action, because right discrimination, wrong discrimination, affirmative action goes against the white people. And the Asian people, so you don't need them around here. And we dumb down the schools and dumb down the schools and dumb down the schools until so they're picking their asses and eating the boogers out of their nose. To black people, to brown people. Just like ISIS. They sell you all out. They don't give a shit what your shade color is. They're mercenaries. Paid shit. They're to God, they're money. And oh, maybe they'll, they're eating the same synthetic stuff now. Genetic pollution is contaminating themselves. How long do you live when eating naturally all that God's provided? Eating, have we done any studies on that? How many natural things? You balance the nature, all natural, all natural. Just like all the vitamins that you would have in your food. Is that all those vitamins in there? Is that all that's in there? Just vitamins? That you look at the label and it's only going to say vitamins on it? Is that what it is? Balance of nature? Is that, 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 that Or Jurassic Park. You need this injection now. You need this injection now. You need this injection now. Because you made it so synthetic, you're not going to live without it. But you need this injection. No, no, no. But God, get rid of your shit. Flush your shit. Get rid of, tear down your silos. Give back the fucking money. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. I'm trying to present... I'm, I'm trying to prevent black privilege. I'm trying to prevent brown privilege because they don't have privilege for anybody, not even their own kind. White privilege is the only one that entitles everyone to the same thing. Everyone has equal opportunity and equal equity, the same thing, to the same goals, same dreams, same ability to live, the same word of God. Oh, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Well, read the book then. You'll know. Pray about it. You'll know. You shut your fucking mouth otherwise. How's that sound? You don't know God? Don't say shit about God. Oh, yeah, we, until 2020... When Trump was in 2020, and that's a preacher? Pah! That's a preacher? Yes, uh, as Jesus Giglamesh on the cross. Yes, Jesus represents all, the father and the mother and the son. And uh, one on the left, hollering because they didn't listen, that also represents the mother, the father, and the son. And the one on the right that kind of followed the, the Jesus on the cross, uh, they know they done wrong. So they, they know the son, or they know the, yeah, they know the, what? They know the son and the father and the mother? Yeah. And then all together, all three together, the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit, all three on the cross, is what gives man ability to the fourth dimensional man and the fifth and well seven and three is six and seven is thirteen so yeah so it takes seven and it 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 processes through six and you get to thirteen <laughs> <laughs> 13 stars in a circle. That's uh, Jesus and his disciples. Uh, that includes Judas. <laughs> the authorities didn't like him at all. <laughs> <coughs> the scary ass. Yeah, the authorities didn't like him at all. And uh, and Mary Magdalene. That would be Jesus' bride. Well, one of them, I guess. If you have more than one, I don't know. All right, we can ask, we can pray about it. We'll see what God gives us. Then again, that's Jesus, that's not us. We'll see what God gives us. We have that right too, that's part of our inheritance. That's why we follow Christ, what we do. So that in the image of God, we are raised. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, yeah, he went to the cross. He stood on the ground against the authority. He never faltered from the word, regardless of how people treated him. He stayed on course, all right? From the cross outwards in every direction is how it's written. That's why it comes down to, uh, even though we lived it, before we wrote it, we lived it. So let us make man in our image. It's a social question. It's the, the city on a hill. And God says, no, 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 we'll make man in my image. And then Jesus went ahead because he used all the information. And the enlightenment came, and they quashed that real quick with the cave of allegory. They put a mountain on top of 
he can't keep John uh, under the mountain. John goes into the mountain and he raises up the whole thing so all the miners can get out. <laughs> then he tells the mountain to go jump in the sea. And when it does, everybody's seen. So then it's been sought. <laughs> We're getting closer. As we can comprehend it, we can see it. So, we're getting closer. It said it's physical. Heaven is physical. Earth is physical. It's life without death. It's continuously living. It's every year your cells are molecularly one year old. It's the kings who live for hundreds of years. It's, uh, eat your diet. Daniel told you that. You don't switch from what you know to eat. And that does include meat, too. That's right. Ex Peter, well, better ex Paul. <laughs> In Jesus' precious name, Amen. Yeah, he he died on the cross. It also is what give you self governance, individual thinking for yourself, personal choice. That was all done in Jesus' walk in his ministry. It was shown in his ways, from a a babe to a child to a well, just as is written. He taught all his days. Everything about him taught. Even when they sent him over there to, you know, build the abbey with Joseph Arimathea. And they took his father out. That's right. And then he said that stuff about his mother, too. Yeah, that's right. You read all about it. It's in there, and you divide the word correctly. As a farmer would, you know, knows what he's planting. Knows what he expects to harvest. Excellent expectations, and knows what he's going to get. In, in Jesus' name... It all depends on God. The farmer knows that. He's a son. He's a hireling. He's a worker. He works the field. He works the vineyard. He, and he also works in the, in, the, in the mill. It depends on what season. He works in this mill. He works in that mill. He works in this factory. He's about the community. It's life and life in abundance. It's work and worship. It's uh, love what you do and you don't work a day in your life. It's faith. Walking by faith, not by sight. As you walk by faith, the kingdom's made manifest. That's all there is to it. So easy a child can understand. Uh, see? Puts her to sleep. <laughs> but she loves laying in my arms. <laughs> and I like having her here. Yes. God knows. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Amen. We see the picture. And we can now hear the word <laughs> in each other. Words in our mouth, yes. Our education, yes. That which breeds uh, church and government. All on his shoulder. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. He is risen. Amen. Yes, when you set up your final cut like this in your teaching, you have your external hard drive, which would be your being, your person. And you're taking your footage all you've accumulated to make your film and you save it into a file that you make on that hard drive that person you make this file inside the file you open it up and it'll say just story number five that's this episode just story number five all right and you click on that because that's a new folder now and inside that you make another new folder capture scratch so you're going to transfer everything from the outside inside and in bring it into the mill for processing all right, when you do that, it gives you another column that would be uh, one, two, three removed from the Just Story file, or three into the, the Just Story folder that's on the uh, individual hard drive, or in that, that particular hard drive. All right, make a sense, keep up with so far. All right, and then uh, with the capture scratch, you also got to go back to set your final cut, your hard drive. So you're also making a folder for... Uh, uh, waveform cache and then you make one for thumbnail cache and then you have the autosave bolt and you also have working sequences which will be your footage brought in as you're going to process through the mill you know to make your film to make your project to make your clip to make your vignette whatever you're making your report this is where you hand your report in this way you make manifest your reality it's what you believe what you, your faith and what you see and you walk it out until it's physically tangible. Alright, and well, in all, in all ways. Alright, but anyhow, so you'll have your work and sequences file there. That gives you seven files 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, seven because audio render files and uh, and render files that comes up in when you do the the capture scratch uh, for the capture scratch. And it, it it made in his image, All right? You're processing through. You're bringing in raw material and you're making it into a man, you're taking wood and processing it into a human being. Uh, taking uh, words off, lifting words off a piece of paper, or laying down a piece of paper and writing the words out uh, to make the environment and make the world, and make all things we can talk about, but and things we can't. <laughs> but we will anyhow. Speak easy. <coughs> Part of what uh, is the glory of the First Amendment and uh, democratic republic. Of the Confederate, yeah, that's the one the, the human being that buys into the premise that was sold. That was Penn's Charter privilege to the First Continental Congress, and telling of all things, <laughs> and giving direction for Philadelphia and Pennsylvania underneath his, uh, you know, Admiral Father. <laughs> Admiral Father, get it? <laughs> I like that. It's more than spectacular to use a vernacular. It's wizard. It's smashing. It's keen. Oh, you pretty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, we love you. And our pretty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang loves us too. High, low, anywhere we go in chitty chitty we depend. Bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, our fine poor fender friend. Bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, our fine poor fender. Bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang friend. Hey, right, come on, come on, please. Give me a little bit of room here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it to pussy, but not cat ass in the face. <laughs> uh, couldn't help myself. I don't know. No, I won't cut that out. The heck with it. God's real. That's right. And he's old enough to uh, understand, and his kids are too. Uh, name the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. But anyhow, that's kind of like how it's working out here, and it's coming to pass. So the Abbey should be hopefully getting moving soon. In Jesus' name. Amen.